For two decades, he's been the master of all he surveys. Tonight, it looks like Vladimir Putin is manoeuvring to keep it that way. In his annual State of the Nation address, the Russian president proposed a referendum on sweeping constitutional changes. Within hours, his loyal prime minister and the entire government quit, a move that shocked seasoned Kremlin watchers that the planned reduction in the powers of the presidency, an office Putin must leave in four years' time, may simply leave him free to prolong his rule through other state institutions. The goal is for the system to remain stable and for Putin to uh, retain his grip on power and to remain what he has been uh, throughout these 20 years, the most important politician in the country, the ultimate decision maker and uncontested, unchallenged leader of no alternative. Putin became president in 2000, promising stability after years of political turmoil. But in 2008, having served the maximum two terms, he named his ally, Dmitry Medvedev, as successor and kept power by taking the job of prime minister. After four years, he returned to the presidency. But even after extending the terms of the office in 2024, he'll be forced to leave the Kremlin, though few see him as ready to relinquish his rule. Opposition against the backdrop of a stumbling economy is routinely repressed, while Putin has built up the cults of the strongman, a Russian nationalist who won back Crimea and has extended military and political influence in the Middle East and beyond. He's not about to relax into retirement. He's not uh, done with his uh, uh, political struggle with the West about the balance of global powers. And that's, his, that's also on his list, um, his agenda for the for near future. Putin is already the longest serving leader of his country since Joseph Stalin. Like the Soviet ruler, he has no succession plan. One day that might be a problem for Mother Russia, but not, it seems, anytime soon. John Ray, News at 10.